I'm Talab and um, today I wanted to show you uh, my first successful orchid. orchid. Uh, I've had a lot of orchids before, or a lot, but uh, some phalaenopsis, some dendrobiums, and the common theme for them has been that they won't flower again after I bought it, bought them. Uh, so to have an orchid rebloom is uh, fantastic. I'd actually decided that orchids wasn't for me. Uh, and then this, I uh, saw so this one with this gorgeous leaves. You can see they are patterned and I think they are gorgeous and to have the, have it bloom on top of it is just spectacular. Even though I don't think this is the most beautiful flower in the world, it's a great accomplishment to have made it rebloom. It's an uh, Paphiopedilum modia femma. There this this seems seem to thrive. I've done some research, and I think these orchids may be the the orchid family for me. Uh, and I love these leaves. So even if they don't rebloom, it's no big deal really. But I would like. I'm now looking for a similar plant just with a more dark or reddish flower. I've seen them on the internet, you know. They grow in the ground on the forest floor. So they like it a little more moist than uh, the Phalaenopsis. So I think this, this Puffy of Pedalums may be more my cup of tea cup you know haha <laughs> in addition to the bloom it's got several new growth and the paphiopedalums they bloom from first they have one plant this this is the old flower spike that you can see there and that was the first growth in this plant then uh, the second one is the one blooming now then you have some competing of the third and fourth. I think this one is the one that's come the longest or furthest. What do you say? Yeah. Um, so that let's call that one the third one. And then there's one underneath here. That let's call that the. One, two, three, four, the fourth one. And let's see. Then there's one here that we could call the fifth one. Uh, growing up from the old, the first one. And I think there may be another one that I can't find right now. I'm not sure, but at least five, um, what do you call it, rosettes? I'm not sure what you call it in uh, orchid, uh, because orchids are quite new to me, uh, besides the standard phalaenopsis. And um, I wanted to show you, in the, you see all, lots of pictures of these kinds of blooms uh, where you get you see them from the fr front, you know, like this, but the view that I kind of like the most is this. I think that is so cool. I think you have to get one of these yourself, especially if you're a bit heavy with watering. Uh, these don't like to be drowned, but uh, apparently they are not so easy to overwater as a lot of other orchids. So um, I recommend them. 
thanks for watching and please leave a comment and tell me if you have any orchids how you became interested in them or if you have this one um let me know until next time bye